What's up guys, Ankle Spangin here, and today we are playing as Master Arcanist Ziggs in the mid lane. And I think Welcome to Rift. Hmm. No, never mind, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. So I was I was thinking that maybe I could try doing that spell thief's edge item, the Frost Queen's claim, but I don't think we'll do that on Ziggs. I think we'll do that on someone else. But Fuck, dude, now I really want to do it. Maybe we'll do it. Maybe we'll still do it. I don't know. Maybe we'll see. We'll see how this lane goes. We'll see how against the Syndra. That'll be a tough matchup uh, if I play it a little too aggressively. But if I don't, should be good. Anyways, going into this game, I actually am running slightly improper masteries. Not the biggest deal. But it is, you know, something that I didn't have time to change because I didn't know who I was going to play this game. So, we are playing with Ignite when I really wanted a defensive summoner spell, and I am also playing with an improper Thunderlord's page. But that, 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 that that's okay, it's just totally fine. We'll see, we'll do our best. We are playing with a couple of our friends. We got Rice Bunnies on that bot lane, Nami. Big Glaze Donut on the jungle, uh, Kindred. We got the top lane, Kelvin Zors on that Fiora, and then we got a random Draven playing Draven. And we'll see how he does. That's the, uh, that's the one random in the game, because, you know, I don't have... I don't have four friends. I only had uh, I only had three, so that's fine. I guess Fior or, uh, Syndra over here is going to go for poking me instead of trying to push the wave for level two. So that's totally fine by my book because that means she won't be near as aggressive. Um, and if I can get to level two first, I can be a lot safer. So let's go ahead and throw a Q there. I was hoping she would stand a little more by it, but it is A-OK. -okay. As you can see, she is using a lot of mana to not really do that much damage to me. And by a lot of mana, I of course mean next to no mana at all, because she's already regenerated it. But, it's the same situation with my health. So I was able to push to level two a lot faster without fucking any consequences. So let's go ahead and throw the Q and the E, miss one minion. But that's okay. So 11, 2, let's see, 6. Yeah, she's going to miss both of those. So already 11 to 6. Kelvin picking up the first blood. Nicely done there, my boy. Will be, that'll definitely help him a shit ton in that lane. So, oh, that poor Nar only has 2 CS too. So good job, Kelvin. They solo kill 1v1 on the Nar. Nar is running teleport though. So that is one thing we do need to keep in mind. Uh, he will have the uh, global advantage, where Kelvin will have a very, very clear lane advantage. Let's go ahead and throw a Q right there. Oh, I threw it a little late, so I didn't get the damage off on her. But let's go ahead. We're going to take some pain here, but it's not that big of a deal. We'll just eat a biscuit because we are hungry, and I'm just going to keep on chilling. Because even though I do have Ignite, I was not, you know, I never go into lane with Ziggs expecting to start murdering people. Uh, that's just simply not how Ziggs works. Um, you can get solo kills off. But it's pretty rough and, to be honest, rather unlikely. Just because, um, the na Wow, that hit me? Really interesting. Alright, let's go ahead and knock her back over here. Drop the ignite. I'm gonna flash out of this myself. That's definitely gonna be a kill for Donut. See ya later, Syndra. Let him do the work there. And he will get a mark, and he will get the flash out of her as well. So, easy assist for us and I chose to flash out of it so I would not have or would not be in any single bit of danger of dying to anything there and now I can shove this wave out and go back so donut getting the kill and that will be both of Syndra's summoners for both of my summoners and since we used them both at just about the exact same time I don't even need to worry about timing hers either I can just time my own and that'll be like 100% accurate and let's see here since I am Ziggs and I'm against an AP mid laner, I actually am going to go for Athenes. Now, Athenes is slightly less AP than Morello's, yes, but I think if I can have any of that MR, it'll help me against the burst. Plus, in team fights, Athenes is actually a lot better for mana regen. Because of the fact that you get so much of your mana back on kill or assist, it just generally gives more regen anyways than the other, um, the other alternative, the Morello Namicon. So, the other viable option here would be a tier going into Seraphs. That is a good choice for Ziggs as well, because he does do a lot of skill spamming with his Q. And, since we are against a Syndra, it would be an especially okay choice because of uh, the fact that, well, it's Syndra. And Syndra does a lot of her damage straight off of Burst. I'm going to take a lot of damage here. That is not very good for us. But, we'll be fine. This is why we have the Biscuits. So, so far so good on the CS as well. As long as we keep that up and just play really passively, we'll be totally fine in this lane. Look at that damage. 1Q landing. There goes a massive chunk of her HP. 
and two Qs is the back wave for us so far, so it should be very easy for us to just push out and be totally safe. Now, I do apologize if laying with Ziggs is boring for you guys to watch, but it is what it is. I'm going to try and play it as properly as I can, especially against a Syndra who can just all in me at the drop of a hat. So we'll be playing that as properly as we can. Let's go ahead and throw this Q right there. Boom! That's going to be another Q landing on her. And pretty soon here we may be able to go in for a kill. So let's go ahead and throw this Q back there just to clear out this wave once again and auto attack these guys down. Throw this Q right there. Kill that and... Uh, yeah, brother! That's going to be getting the kill on that siege. Good job, us. And let's go ahead and just toss that right over there. And maybe... Whoop, Yep, this is going to be a kill. On to the Syndra. Ba-boom! There's the kill. And I knew as soon as I blocked her escape route off, she was done for. So the easy 1v1 kill on the Syndra, getting that before she was level 6, because I was able to hit 6 first, will be definitely very, very, very good for us. Let's go ahead and throw the mines right here as well, just so I can get both those minions in back real fast. Because we can get our Chalice now. That'll help us a lot with the mana. And just look at it. 101, 52 CS to 33. We are definitely in the driver's seat of this lane. So, as long as we keep this up, we will be doing terrifically well. And let's see. Already up to 15% CDR as well. So, after I get my Athenes, that's the only CDR item I need because I am running 15% uh, in my ma or in my runes, excuse me. So, when I'm level 18 and have just this one CDR item, I'll be at 35%. Any more than that, I can only get 5% more, so it's not really worth it. I mean, it would be still kind of worth it, but uh, it's not super necessary like it would be otherwise. Like, it, it basically, you just don't want to make bad use of stats. Like, you don't want that extra money to go to waste. So, let's see here. It looks like they want to drop another uh, gank off on... Oh, this poor Syndra! And let's see Boink go ahead and stop her in her tracks there for just a second with the knock away. And that will be a very easy kill. Three people mid just taking advantage of this poor Syndra that has no flash still for another minute. And that will be another kill going down on her very easily. And she is going to take a lot of damage on this turret. And I guess that minion back th way back in the back there is just like, eh, give up on everything. <laughs> he, just, he just totally gave up on life there. <laughs> poor guy. So let's see if I can actually make a big play happen, because they are relatively low down here. And I can shoot for the hoop from downtown! Here it comes! Alright, I'm gonna get an assist on that Tom Kent! So let's see if I can come down here and get some help in, and maybe... Boink! That's gonna be the shutdown going in on her! And let's see, hello! Uh-oh, whoa! Oh, that hit me? No way, no way! What are you doing here? What are you doing? Ah, 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 the balls! Eat the biscuits! Eat the biscuits! Okay, we're safe. We ate the biscuits. Will that be a kill? Will Donut get it? The greed was too much, and he's down. So, ooh, rest in donuts, Donut. We'll be going down, and the biscuits were enough to save our life. So 3-0 oh, and 3 now with that all in on the Syndra. And now that we have our Athenes, that is going to be a lot of, uh, you know, well, general goodness for us. Some more CDR, more AP, more mana regen, more everything, brother! And that's going to be delicious. So, 88.99 second cooldown. Might as well just, I really don't know why it doesn't just say 9 or 89, like... <laughs> I mean, I, I appreciate it, but I don't, you know, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I don't think that .01 second difference is going to really change the outcome of much of anything. So let's go ahead and just clear that back wave there real quick. Throw a Q right there in the middle of them and kill both of those. And so far, ooh, that CS difference. Holy moly, 30, not, well, 40 now to 74. Good lord. Let's go ahead and just throw these. Boom. All right, one Q landed, and there goes, like, all of her HP. So, you know, if I, <laughs> that's awesome. That is awesome. So let's go ahead and boink. Oh, what? That didn't hit her? All right. Meow. Well, that one I can understand not hating her, but let's see. Oh, there goes her flash. So that'll be Syndra's flash. Knock! What? How did that not hit her? How did that not hit her? Man, come on. Man. Oh, that's going to explode. I forgot how it works in the terrain. <laughs> I totally forgot how Zig's bombs work in terrain. So, I do need to be very careful of that, that, that bitch. No, not that one. Not that one. Ah! <laughs> okay, that's the exact one I was being. Oh, it did hit her. 
Okay, so my Q did hit her. It just didn't kill her. Okay, that makes more sense now. So we're going to go ahead and pin Kelvin to be careful. Riven incoming. Just so he knows because Riven is on her way up there. But we'll get out of there with our life. Well, let's see. Kelvin is still fighting it. But he... I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure he saw what we were saying. But Riven's going to be sitting right there. So obviously he's going to want to be safe. And look at that. <laughs> look at that. We were totally right. <laughs> so getting our boots here on that back. Not going to go down yet. That poor Syndra couldn't get the stun. We had a very good flash there, though. I do. I must admit, I gotta. I gotta give myself credit where it's due because that was a very spot-on flash. Um, potentially, could have just used my W instead, but I wasn't confident that I was close enough to be able to get uh, over the wall, you know, dependably. So I just chose to use the flash instead. Not a big deal. We'll go ahead and auto these all once, and then throw a Q right there. So 87 CS to 47. 11 minutes in, we have a 40 CS lead on poor John Galt 496. Now there he is. Let's go ahead and toss that. What? It bounced over him. God bless it. All right. Come here, John Galt. And, uh, damn it. All right. This is, no, oh, God. I'm literally the worst. The biscuits. Siege minion, no. No. Okay. Okay. Holy shit. If I landed a single goddamn ability, that would have gone so much better. All right, Donut, you can dive this. You can just dive this. All right. Eh, 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 eh. Boop. Boop. <laughs> All right, it's a good thing I don't have to land any skill shots, or else this champion would be really, really hard for me. Well, let's go ahead and go back here. Grab the sorcery shoes. These biscuits, that's two times that just chowing down on munchies here have saved my ass. So that is... I'm really glad I'm remembering to use these now. So teleport coming in. Donut is a little deep right now. But looks like Gnar really wants to get on this action. Gnar is the one who is deep now. But the Tom Kench ultimate looks like he's coming in. The bubble was slightly early. But that is A-OK. -okay. It looks like Gnar is going mega very soon. This is bad. This is bad for them. Gnar is going to come in. And he's backing off. Huh? Oh, there he is. There's the Gnar. And that's going to be... That gave me more than enough time to get in here. So one kill going down. Let's see. Oh, the Kindred Ultimate coming in. Massive Kindred Ult. Kaboom! There's going to be the explosion of damage. And that will come on. Come on! Son of a bitch! God damn it, get back here! Do you have mobility boots? No, you don't! Yes, come on! God damn it, where the fuck are you? How is he so fast? Alright, wait. Don't do it, you that damn bitch! Alright. Alright, well, we still had massive damage coming in. Let's go ahead and boink! Look at that pain. Alright, let's kill this wave as well, because, you know, if I can just let this wave crash into that tower that'll be good but still massive aoe damage coming out there in that fight fantastically done if i do say so myself grabbing double buffs in that process as well and i should be able to get this tower um yeah i'm definitely gonna be able to get this tower because tristana cannot stand up to me and i know this i know that so she's not even gonna give that any attempt so we'll be able to get that tower and we can go back now and grab a needlessly large rod to build towards Ludin, Zonias, Rylai's, Rabadons, whatever we feel like we really need. Um, none of those choices can I can go wrong with. Um, so we'll just we'll just see how the money handles itself when we get there, and we'll choose after that. So, and the reason we can't really go wrong, Zonias is good because their team has a lot of burst with uh, Riven and uh, Syndra. Ludens is very good because it's additional poke and additional burst. Rabadon's pretty obvious why it's always going to be good on pretty much any AP champion ever. Um, and then, of course, Rylai is also very good because if I actually just hit one of my buttons and actually, like, hit someone with an ability, it does uh, slow them pretty hardcore. So let's go ahead and throw this down over there, drop the minefield. This should be a very free tower. Um, so there's... Wow, good stun. That stun just nailed me, so good shot for sure. Tower going down. We do have four of them here. But with my full combo up, I am definitely terrifying for them. So let's go ahead and just... <laughs> Honestly, I am massive this game. I am just huge in this video game. 
So let's see. Maybe I can... If I can just hit... If I can just hit even a one of them. So let's see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fuck! Fuck! Damn it! Damn it! I tried to flash this wall so I could get over here and not be stuck with them. I'm pretty sure I would have still died, but I think I would have been able to kill Syndra, maybe. But she did flash, so totally, you know, not just like an idiot. But that's not really like a new thing. Um, so... It's an ankle spanking video. You can't have a game full of plays without something going horribly wrong and looking like a total moron. So there it is. There it is. Everything <laughs> everything just falls down at once. And we look like a total Goomba. Losing our first life there. 6-1-4 and four now. Oh, darn. But that will be A-OK. -okay. Let's see here. You know, come to think of it, I haven't seen any whirling deaths. I'm sure he's been using them bottom. But I haven't seen Draven ult like... You know, like, run down mid or anything. I haven't seen him do that. So maybe... Hopefully I can get the next blue. That'd be pretty sweet. Um... Because if... Yeah, Dona keeps taking him. I mean, I... I'm not, I'm not trying to sound like a bitch or nothing here, but I am a very, very strong Ziggs. So me having blue would be very good. Um... Hey. 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 Well... Boop. <laughs> well, that's gonna be the kill right there. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Whoop. Hey, come on. You can talk. But I don't want to talk. I talk with my bombs. Come here. Come here, little boy. Uh. Wait, what? Whoa, this isn't good. All right, Kindred Ultimate. There it is. Let's go ahead and drop the AoE damage. Look at all this pain. Kaboom. Look at myself. Get out of there. That's going to be the kill. Kaboom. And no, that is not going to be a kill for me. Whoa. Okay, I guess I'm going that way. Uh, th <laughs> oh, God. Okay. And the biscuits once again saved my ass. Because after I ate those biscuits, I had 26 <laughs> Dude, biscuits are OP. All right, let's see if we can kill the big scuttle crab. Go ahead and just knock it away. Keep throwing bibs at it. Got you guys throw. Ooh yeah, the bibs. Ooh yeah. Ooh, give me those bibs. Ooh, that's gonna be a good bib. All right, I'll go ahead and take this buff. And is their blue up? No, it's not. Man, I want it. Man, I want it. All right. All right. Ooh, 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 nah. I got, I got some bibs with your name on it. Ooh, I got, ooh, I got the bibs. You know, I feel like this is warded, though. Oh, it's not warded. Enjoy my bibs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You sick of shit. Yeah, that's going to be the kill. There it is. There's some big damage. Syndra going to go down as well. And that, ooh, hot tamales. Throw down the minefield right there. Throw more. Ooh, there's the bib. All right, how about one? Ooh, there's the bib. Oh, man. All right, how about another one? And boop. Beep. Boop. <laughs> oh, that's exactly where I meant to go the whole time. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you know, maybe it wasn't totally planned that I went flying over that wall, but I'll take it anyways. So let's see. All right. Maybe. Oh. Ow. Bit. Wait. Wait. Hang on. Hold on. Ah! What the hell? She did so much damage. Oh, what? What? Uh, what? Uh, 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 I'm so confused, man. Uh-oh, Tom Kench has got him in the belly, though. There's one kill. Kelvin, two kills. And the life steal. They just went in on the wrong Fiora. Yeah, yeah, good job. Good job. All right. Sorry, I'm still, like, in shock that Riven just turned and just, like, I, uh, that startled me. I guess it's Jungle Riven. I didn't even notice that. So weird. But we're going to get that mid tower now. And after I alt this bot wave or after I alt this top. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm a lot closer to that anyways too. So let's go ahead and just throw the ultimate right there. And then we'll go ahead and go back. So 
get those minions, clear the wave even though we lost the tower, because I'm the worst. But I can get my full Rabadons now, so Rabadabadaboo is complete. That'll give us another 100 AP, putting us up at 310 so far. Next up, I think I will go for that Ludens Schmecko. Um, see once if I can, you know, see if I can get enough shekels to afford it this game before it is over. Because it does look rather, this game looks rather in our favor. And I gotta say, um, because I'm, you know, the worst, my CS has fallen off ever so slightly. By slightly, I mean it fell off rather drastically. So, you know, that's totally my fault. Um, basically just me being a total noob more than anything else. And that's okay, you know. Not everything can go totally perfectly, as you guys have seen this game. So let's see. Oh, there's the Whirling Death. Yeah, I just saw it on the map. Good job, Draven. I'm proud of you. So we'll go ahead and throw a Q there. We can officially clear the whole back wave in one Q now, so good job, us. Go ahead and give this one auto attack and give it one more. And somehow I missed that, even though I did 103 damage when I had 100 health left. I'm not going to argue with it, though. So let's go ahead and throw a Q right there with the E. And come on, throw the Q and... What? What? Okay, got all three of those. Whatever. <laughs> Worth it. So apparently I can't clear him in the one Q. Oh, man. So I wonder if I can kill that girl. Let's see. Oh, Kelvin! Gonna go for it! And let's see, there's the ultimate coming in! Ba-boom! Look at that AoE! So, wait, what? I did not get an assist for that. I, I... Did I not get an assist for Tom Stench because he had a stinky shield? Oh... Wow. I guess we really, <laughs> guess we really wanted that warded, huh? So, you know what? Synergy. Wait, Kelvin. Kelvin doesn't give a good goddamn. Holy nipples. Wait, Kelvin. Kelvin, be careful, baby. Holy. That damage. I guess Draven got fed. Good job, Dre. Good job, one guy, three axes. Oh, and he's fucked. Okay, wait, nope, yep, he's fucked. All right, let's see if I can just whoop. Yeah, brother, and whoop, boom, there's the dunk. Slam dunk, welcome to Slam Town. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on, I'm gonna, what? Oh, he wasn't going in on me. All right, no, no, no. Oh, no, you don't. Wait, nope, you're not getting, yeah, brother, <laughs> yeah. All right, come on. God damn it! All right, come on! Ah! Whoops, whoops! I almost killed Kelvin. My bad. Sorry, Kelvin. Love you. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can get out of here. Actually, I'm gonna go steal their blue real fast because that sounds absolutely delicious. Just, just tasty. So if I can get this, come on! Yeah, it is up. Nice. So this blue will be so good on my hot and tasty body. So blue going down for us. And now we can make our retreat back to our home base. And I can acquire another uh, Needlessly Large Rod as well as my Aether Wisp. So Luden's Echo is looking like it's maybe going to come to complete or completion this game. And now we have 475 AP up from, what, 300 and something. 300 something. And let's see, that was second dragon for us, so good job there. And that is... Well, this game is just going terrifically. So let's see. I want to kind of, you know, I want... the hell was the ult in? Did... What? What? Did he ult the freaking scuttle crab? That's the only thing I can think of. Alright, whatever. So, dra Whirling Death down, um, let's see, maybe, alright, eat shekels. <laughs> so, that's gonna be interrupting that back, you know, like the rude dude I am. Wait, wait, hang on, hold on, we can talk. I don't want to talk, but we can talk. Boom! That was one Q! That did so much death! What the, the, the hell is that damage? Look at it. Uh oh. Eh. Eh. Come on. Yeah. No. God damn it, Tom! Can't you piece of shit? I mean, lovely person. Uh. Damn it, Tom Kent. You son of a gun. All right. Well, we're gonna get the Baron off of that. Because Riven cannot come and contest this. 
Unless they're just going to be scared of the 1 in 11 Syndra, and it looks like they are. So 1 in 11 Syndra, simply too powerful. Whirling Death coming in. They are going to get staved off of it. Looks like Kelvin is going in, though, and he's going to go down. So that was possibly a little overzealous. Donut is looking like he wants to go do it big, though, and never mind, he changed his mind as well. Okay, everybody's, everybody is just bitching out left and right. Dra except Draven. Draven, my boy. <laughs> Draven flashing in. That's going to be the bop. There's the double kill. And it looks like Tom Kench is going to go down eventually. Even though Donuts, yeah, Donuts just going to chase him forever. So let's see. Uh-oh. Nar is going to get critted. Going to get critted multiple times. And maybe one more. Come on, Draven. And there he goes. Is he going to get it? No, maybe. All right. He got the Mikhails. So there's the big Nami heal. And may maybe? Hello? Kill him? No? I guess, I guess they're not going to kill him. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. That's the wrong person. Okay, they killed Syndra. So, this Draven just went off. He popped off this game. So that, oh, one Nexus turret down. Looking like they're going for two. And let's see. Oh, the Gnar away. And it's not going to work because, well, he's going to die. But Riven's up now as well. And Draven is doing his best to kite. Will he be? He's going to get out of there. I, oh, maybe. Ooh. Oh, wait, Trisana. The double explosion. Murdering both of them. Get wrecked. But here comes Kelvin. It's his turn. And let's see if maybe we can. <laughs> Shit. From downtown. Ah! Alright, that was terrific. Thank you for the double buffs. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, that was terrific. <laughs> that was just spectacular. Solid shooting there, Spankin'. Solid shooting. Picking up the kill from two miles away. That was the absolute tip of my alt range, too. That's awesome. That is just awesome. So, also getting that top lane turret while I was over there. I almost died to it because I was tanking it. Um, but 525 AP now. We do have the Luden's Echo. That'll be an additional 153 magic damage on that one hit. So, I think... I think if I just nail... Lis or not Lissandra, but Syndra directly. I think I might have killed her with that one Q. I mean, it's possible. I wouldn't put it past my current damage right now. Is what I'm saying. So let's see. I actually forgot to um, switch my trinkets. So not going to lick my gooch today, little boy. So let's see. Uh-oh. Draven is going in. And I'm going to go ahead and throw one auto at that. Look at that damage. All right. Let's throw the zoning abilities out here just to keep them totally zoned. And boop. Round. Fuck. Damn it. All right. A lot of damage going off on her. And let's see. Fuck. Come on! Come on! Yeah. Stop it! Oh god, she outranges me. Maybe? Alright. Oh, oh god. Oh, wait, no, I'm just the worst. Alright, you know, how about I just win this video game instead? Instead of, instead of doing whatever I'm doing, how about I just win this video game instead? So, there's the victory. Too many little... Yes. I was getting really scared to be ahead of them because I had no defensive items that game. Not even a one. And that is A-OK -okay because we were so huge. So let's see. 11, 3, and 9. S rank, baby. Still... Yeah, get out, damage Draven. Yeah, bro. You, 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 you get wrecked, buddy. All right. So there it is. Showing us, or showing everybody that we still got it with Ziggs even though we had slightly wrong masteries and whatnot. That is A-OK. -okay. And... If you guys did, in fact, enjoy this video, make sure you do leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. All three links will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!